Craig Moss was a true believer in Donald Trump. Trump is a 100% Trump supporter. There is no other choice. During the presidential campaign, he followed Trump to 45 rallies across the U.S. Trump keep And he did it for a very personal reason. I came home and found my son Rob J.R. Moss dead in his bed and um, it was devastating to me. His son Rob died of a heroin overdose in 2014. He was 24. We will help all of those people so seriously addicted. We'll get them assistance. Moss believed Trump's campaign promises, especially when Trump reached out to him at a rally. And I know what you went through. And he's a great father. I can see it. And your son is proud of you. Your son is proud of you. But Moss is a Trump supporter no more. Tell me about this guitar. Do you play this guitar anymore? Nope. Why not? I'm not on the Trump trail anymore, and, I, and, I, and I've lost my heart to play the Trump songs. Moss, who believes his son might still be alive if he'd had health insurance, can't believe Trump supports the Republican health care plan. It would increase the number of uninsured Americans, and it would end the Obamacare requirement that the 31 states with expanded Medicaid cover addiction services. There's no question that this legislation, the House of Representatives, would cost many American lives. At CNN's town hall, Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price said Medicaid doesn't have to be the solution. He's asked state governors to come up with their own plans to cover addiction treatment. There are wonderful ways, I believe, to address this in a positive way if we keep our focus on the patient, not on government, but on the patient. But Moss has lost faith. I believed everything he said. And now? No, I don't, I, I don't believe that he was true in his word when he was speaking. I think he was looking for votes, to be honest with you. It's not at all what Mr. Trump promised everybody he was going to provide for us. And I feel that now. I, 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 angry, I, I feel hurt inside. Now that Moss has changed his tune, the only song he wanted to sing for us is a song he wrote in memory of his son. Thinking about the times we spent together And even though the most simple things You've said in life Saying precious I love you I cherish memory Cherish memory Many Americans rely on the government for addiction services. In 2014, one out of every four Americans who were treated for addiction were on Medicaid.